guitarreferenceguide.com. Hope everyone's staying safe, doing well. Times are pretty tough these days, no gigs, a lot of people teaching online. I'm also teaching online. I'm very lucky to have a lot of students and I thank you for all the support on YouTube. So we all have to do stuff that inspires us and makes us happy to get through this time and one of those things for me is the great Charlie Parker. In this video, I take you through the song Confirmation, which is a very uplifting melody. It'll make you feel good. If you listen to that tune, I mean, it just makes you feel incredible. The melodies are, are absolutely amazing. And when I read Miles Davis's autobiography, um, he talks about how when Bird wrote it, how excited they all got, you know, almost like he got a new car or something, but it's actually a lot more important than that. Um, they were all talking about it. It was like three o'clock in the morning, I think, and they all went down and heard it. Anyways, this is a very, very inspirational melody. Uh, it's a great tune. A little bit about the song. It's in the key of F, but there's a lot of two fives. It's a 32 bar form. I'm playing it at 185 beats per minute, which is, I think, a little slower than the original recording. Um, it's already a pretty tough tune on guitar, but if you're playing, even if you're playing a Les Paul, you're playing a Telecaster, um, don't let this being a, a, a jazz tune turn you off from it because these melodies are just absolutely incredible. It'll sound just as good on, uh, on a Les Paul or a Tele. Melody is melody. You know, you put some overdrive on it, put some delay on it, sound absolutely incredible. So, uh, I, lots of times when I do videos, people are asking me my amps and what I'm using. I don't have that much gear, but as you see the picture there, um, I'm using a Tone King for the rhythm track, and I'm using my uh, Telecaster. Uh, it's an NOS, uh, I think 52, 52 or 54 NOS uh, Custom Shop Tele, and I'm going into the Tone King for the rhythm track with a little bit of tremolo. It's a Menatone uh, Pleasure Trem, and that's how I get the rhythm track. Um, I chose the Tele just to give it a completely different sound to offset the sound of the, the 175, and then obviously for the um, for the melody, I used the 175 through a um, Hendrickson Jazz Amp. I got the, uh, the Jazz Amp. Incredible, great amp. I, I don't think I have the horn engaged, but uh, as you can see the picture there, that's the amp I'm using. 
and I'm just micing it up with an Audio Technica 4033 going into my um, Duet, going into Logic. And that's basically my setup. So I also have a PDF for the song. So if you like what you see in this video and you want to get a PDF, you want to play along, that'll make it a lot easier. There's a lot of notes, a lot of phrases in here. So I've tabbed it out in both positions. I play it in a higher position and a lower position. Um, so you, it's always good to learn things in different parts of the neck. Uh, make you a much better player if you can play those same melodies all over the place. And, and that's about it. So I hope everyone stays safe. I hope you enjoy this lesson, and let's do it. All right, here we go. Okay, so the way I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna take you through the chord progressions, um, and then over those, I'm gonna lay down the melody, and I'm gonna play through it really slow. I'm not gonna go through every single string and fret and everything, because at this stage of the game, if you're playing this tune, you're already uh, pretty far along. Uh, so that being said, we're gonna do a phrase at a time. I'm gonna play real slow, and then break down the harmonic concepts. So. We're going to start, uh, the first part of the tune is D minor 7 to E flat 9. And then we're going to have uh, two fives. A minor 7, D7 or D13, G minor 7 to C7. Now, first line is going to sound something like this, the, the, the intro. Okay, so here I'm basically playing... Based on, this is based on the pentatonic scale, so the, the first line is based on outlining a D minor, so I'm going to play it really slow. Ninth fret, thirteenth fret. So the first part is based on pentatonic scale, 10, 12, 10, 12, 10, 12. Now he jumps over to the ninth fret, which is the major seven. And then he comes up to the F to outline the E flat 9 chord. There's the first phrase, phrase number one. Next phrase is going to be over E flat 9, and that's going to be a diminished phrase. to 10, 9th fret, 12th fret, 11th fret, I, I come up to the uh, 7th fret of the G string, here I'm playing uh, 7, 10, 7, 10, 12, you could also play it here, might be easier to play it here. the first phrase. That brings us into the head of the tune. Okay, so the first part of the head is going to be F major 7, <coughs> E minor 7, flat 5, A7, bunch 2, 5. So there's a, <coughs> starts with F major 7, we have a 2, 5 in D minor. Then we're going to have a 2, 5 in C, uh, which is the uh, D minor 7, G7, 2, 5 in B flat come up to a B flat 7 chord there. Okay, so the first line over those chords is going to sound like this. Okay, so I start with the C note here. Skip a string. Okay, so as you can see, this is all coming out of the F major scale, and he's using a chromatic line here. I think that's the bebop scale there. So we have a... Chromatic line starting at the ninth fret. Skip a string, 10th fret. Now here I have a hammer pull off really quick, 11th fret to 13th fret. 12th fret, 10th fret. Now I come up to C flat on the D string, 11th fret, 12th fret, 10th fret. So the first phrase. The next phrase is going to go still staying in the same general area. 
10th fret, 12th fret, back to 11, hammer pull off, 12. Now we're going to move up to the, um, we're going to go to the 11th fret now and we're going to play this really cool line, it totally has a cool groove to it. So here I'm playing uh, 11, 12, 11, 9th fret, hammer pull off, 10th fret, 11th fret 9. And then right after I hit, right after I hit that note, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do another trill. So we have, and then I'm going to come to the 13th fret and I'm going to play 13, hammer pull off to 11. 12, 11, 10, skip a string up to the 12th fret of the D string. Now I'm going to slide into the 12th fret on the B string, 12th fret on the high E string, and then the 10th fret on the B string. So if I play that whole phrase, Next phrase. So here I'm playing uh, chromatic line 11, 10, 9. So I'm playing uh, 9, 10, I mean, sorry, 11, 10, 9. Then I'm skipping a string coming up to the 10th fret of the G string. 12th fret of the G string, 9th fret of the G string. That's a pretty tricky lick right there, or line. And then, and then we come back to 13 to 10. And that's coming over 2, 5, G minor to C7, back to F and it resolves. Now we have a real quick flurry of notes, so this one's pretty difficult. And this is also going over F major 7, so here I'm playing 10th fret to the uh, 11th fret. over F major 7, D minor 7, flat 5. We're doing the major 7 of C, which is C flat, 12th fret of the G, and that would be that phrase right there. Next phrase. As you can see, we're staying in this general area, and he, he's playing off of the, uh, the flat 7 here. This is going over a 2-5 and B-flat. There's your B-flat major scale. Uh, and that would be, uh, yeah, that would be the C minor to F7, so here. Uh, and that would be the next phrase, one more time. is going to be like this. We're going to have, I'm going to play it real slow. And that's going over the C minor 7 to F7. So I stand corrected. The, uh, this phrase, that's over the F major 7 to E minor 7 flat 5. This next phrase, the is the one that's going to go over the uh, this next one's going to go over the C minor to uh, and that's going over C minor to uh, F7 and 
and then to the B flat seven. Then the next phrase is going to be going over B flat seven. Next phrase. Got to get that little troll in there. And this is going over A minor seven flat, A minor seven flat five to D seven. So those two phrases, if I put them together, uh, would be like this. We have. Uh, Uh, here we go. Next phrase. That's totally sweet. So that's going to bring us out of that phrase, or out of the A minor 7 to D7, we have. Uh, 12th fret, 11th fret. Hammer pull off, back to the 12th fret, 13th fret, 19th, 9th fret, 10th fret, fret. And that would be that, like that's going over the G minor 7 to C7. And then, and then we come back to F major 7. And this is going to be the B section of the song. So that was the A section of the song. Now the B section of the song, flip number one will be. So here we're playing a bass arpeggio. We're playing a C minor arpeggio there. And now, so we have 10, 13, 12, 13, 10, 12, 12. And that's over C minor. Next phrase, gonna be hammer pull off. We did this lick already once. And this is over the C minor. Now we're going to the ninth fret and then the 11th fret. over the B flat and that will be that lick. Okay so the next phrase is going to bring us into uh, this really quick picking part which is going to be so here I'm playing 11, 9, 11, 10, 11, 8, 11, and then we're playing the F sharp, which is going to be at the 7th fret. And then this is going to be going over the 2 5 modulation into D flat over the B section. And then we're going to, right after that phrase, we're going to come back to the 9th fret and go chromatic line here. So 9th fret, 10, 9, 8. Next phrase is also going to be really quick, and the, and that phrase is the last phrase I did is over a over a flat. So this next phrase is going to be uh, like this. Play it really slow and break it down. So we have that arpeggio right here. Uh, now I'm playing um, the F minor arpeggio, or you can look at this D flat. So we have. 12th fret, 9th fret, 10, 9, 8, 11. Then I'm going 10, 8, 9, 12. And then the next fr phrase will bring us back to the top of the head. So the so that next phrase would bring us into 
uh, the top of the head again. So this, this phrase we just did is going to be over a D, made, D flat major 7. And then we have G minor C7 and that's going to be and that, that line is going to be 8, 11 on the D, skip a string, 10, 9, 9, back to uh, 11 to 10 and that's going to resolve right there. And that would take us through the B section of the tune. So uh, the next, then we just go back to the top of the tune. And exactly what I showed you in the first part of the video, it's exactly the same. This is the only part where it changes. So here we have uh, 13, hammer, pull off, 13, 10. Now we're going to go to the uh, C flat again, which is the 11th fret, 12th fret, 10th fret on the G string, and then a little arpeggio, and then we come back to the D. So, and that would be um, the whole the whole head for the first part of the tune. Now, if I play through the whole thing, I'm I'm gonna go through it really slow um, in one sweeping motion, and uh, and we'll take it from there. All right, here we go.